Few television shows have left as lasting an impact on American culture as The Andy Griffith Show. At its heart was Andy Griffith portraying the calm and wise Sheriff Andy Taylor, a role that not only defined his career but also set a standard for fatherhood on television. Sheriff Taylor wasn't just a character. He was the father figure many viewers aspired to have or to be. With his signature blend of humor, compassion, and down-to-earth wisdom, Andy Taylor became a symbol of what it meant to be a good man and a great father. But behind the beloved character, there was a real man with his own family, his daughter, Dixie Griffith, and his late son, Andy Samuel Griffith Jr., better known as Sam. Today, we take a deeper look at the personal life of Andy Griffith, exploring the complexities of his relationships with his children and the legacy he left behind. Andy Griffith was born on June 1, 1926, in the small town of Mount Airy, North Carolina, a place that would later inspire the fictional town of Mayberry. His childhood, however, was far from the idealized world of Mayberry. Raised in poverty, Andy's early years were marked by uncertainty. His parents, Carl Lee and Geneva Nunn Griffith, struggled to provide for their family, often relying on the hospitality of relatives and friends. When Andy was just three years old, his father finally secured a job as a carpenter, allowing the family to settle into a modest home of their own. Despite these challenging beginnings, Andy discovered a unique gift that set him apart, his ability to make people laugh. As a shy boy, he found solace in humor, using it to connect with others and build his confidence. This talent blossomed as he grew older, leading him to explore the world of theater and music. In high school, Andy's involvement in the drama program was a turning point. It was there that he realized his destiny was on the stage. Determined to pursue his passion, Andy went on to study music at the University of North Carolina, where his journey as a performer truly began. After years of honing his craft, Andy's big break came in the mid-1950s when he began to make a name for himself in the entertainment industry. His comedic timing and relatable persona quickly won over audiences, culminating in his most iconic role, Sheriff Andy Taylor in The Andy Griffith Show. This role would define not only his career, but also the way he was perceived by millions, a symbol of honesty, integrity, and fatherly wisdom. While Andy Griffith was becoming a household name, his personal life was evolving as well. In 1949, he married Barbara Bray Edwards, an actress he met during his college years at the University of North Carolina. Their shared love of music and theater brought them together, and they soon became partners in life as well as on stage. However, the couple faced a significant challenge. Despite their efforts, they were unable to have children of their own. Undeterred, Andy and Barbara decided to adopt, welcoming two infants into their home. A son, Andy Samuel Griffith Jr., affectionately called Sam, and a daughter, Dixie Nan Griffith. As Andy portrayed the perfect father on television, his real-life experience of fatherhood was far more nuanced. Balancing the demands of a booming career with the responsibilities of raising a family was no easy task. Yet Andy remained devoted to his children, despite the challenges that came with his growing fame. The contrast between his on-screen persona and his off-screen life adds a layer of complexity to the man behind Sheriff Taylor, revealing that even those who seem to have it all figured out face their own struggles. Sam Griffith, Andy's adopted son, lived a life that was, in many ways, overshadowed by his father's immense success. While Andy's character, Sheriff Taylor, was the epitome of a loving and understanding father, the reality for Sam was far more complicated. From a young age, Sam struggled with the expectations that came with being the son of a television icon. The pressure to live up to his father's image was overwhelming and Sam often felt like a black sheep in the family. Despite his father's fame and fortune, Sam's life was plagued by personal difficulties, including a long battle with alcoholism and drug addiction. Sam's struggles came to a head in 1996 when, at the age of 38, he succumbed to cirrhosis of the liver, a consequence of years of substance abuse. 
His life had been a tumultuous journey, marked by repeated run-ins with the law and a strained relationship with his father. According to reports, Sam deeply admired Andy, but was haunted by the feeling that he could never measure up to the image of Opie, the ideal son played by Ron Howard on The Andy Griffith Show. This sense of inadequacy only deepened Sam's struggles, leading to a tragic downward spiral. In his final days, Sam made a desperate attempt to reconnect with his father. He wrote a heartfelt letter, filled with sorrow and regret, pleading for one last chance to be the son and friend he longed to be. Tragically, this letter was never sent. Sam passed away before he could make amends, leaving behind a legacy of unrealized potential and unspoken words. The loss of his son was a devastating blow to Andy, who reportedly took the news very hard. Despite this, Andy chose not to attend the funeral, believing that his presence would only attract unwanted media attention. While Sam's life was marked by tragedy, Dixie Griffith, Andy's daughter, had a much different experience. From the outside, it might have seemed like living in the shadow of a famous father would be difficult. But Dixie recalls her childhood with warmth and affection. Unlike her brother, Dixie shared a close and loving relationship with Andy. She describes her father as a man who, despite his celebrity status, was fiercely protective of his family and deeply committed to their well-being. Dixie chose a path very different from that of her father. While Andy was constantly in the public eye, Dixie preferred a life of privacy. She consciously avoided the spotlight, even though she could have easily followed in her father's footsteps in the entertainment industry. Instead, she focused on maintaining a low profile, cherishing the quiet moments spent with her family. Dixie recalls how, despite the ever-present media attention, Andy made sure that their family life remained as normal and private as possible. One of Dixie's fondest memories is of their time spent at the family's estate on Roanoke Sound in North Carolina. Far from the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, these summers were filled with simple pleasures. Boating on the water, picnics under the sun, and long days of playing volleyball. For Dixie, these moments were a reminder that, at his core, Andy was not just a TV star, he was her father, someone who valued family above all else. In 1973, Andy married Greek actress Solika Kasuto, a marriage that would only last eight years. Andy and Solika divorced in 1981. Two years later, the comedian married his third wife, Cindy Knight. The two lived happily until his death. On July 3, 2012, at the age of 86, Andy Griffith passed away at his coastal home in Manteo, North Carolina. The cause of death was a heart attack, and in keeping with his wishes for privacy, he was buried just five hours later in a quiet ceremony at the family gravesite. His death marked the end of an era, but the legacy he left behind continues to resonate. Andy Griffith was more than just an actor. He was a cultural icon, a symbol of the values and virtues that defined an entire generation of television viewers. Beyond his fame, Andy Griffith left a personal legacy, one that was inherited by his daughter Dixie and his third wife, Cindy Knight. With a net worth of $60 million, Andy's financial legacy was substantial, but perhaps even more significant was the impact he had on the lives of those who knew him personally and the millions who admired him from afar. His portrayal of Sheriff Andy Taylor continues to inspire new generations, reminding us of a simpler time when kindness, integrity, and love for family were at the heart of every story. Andy Griffith will forever be remembered as the beloved Sheriff of Mayberry a character who embodied the best of what it means to be a father, a friend, and a neighbor. Yet, like all of us, he was human, with joys and sorrows, triumphs and regrets. His story is a powerful reminder that even those who seem larger than life on screen face the same challenges and complexities that we all do. As we look back on his life, we see not just the legacy of a television icon, but the enduring impact of a man who touched the lives of so many, both on and off the screen. 
Thank you for joining us on this journey through the life of Andy Griffith. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth stories from Hollywood's Golden Age. Leave a comment below with your favorite memories of The Andy Griffith Show. We'd love to hear from you.